and huge smile on his face he's a real engaging character and he certainly enjoyed his first ever great north run it's ended up in victory for jacob kiplimo of uganda just under the hour wonderful performance from him he is the best in the world at this at the moment and he's shown it here to great effect against some of the world's best behind him but when he So the 2022 Women's Great North Run underway. The elite field get their chance to have a clear run ahead. They'll be heading towards South Shields as is customary, but uh, without all of the masses uh, behind them, which the men will enjoy. So just this special group of women given their chance to run their own race. And Paula, that's uh, you've done this so many times. Good morning to you. Good morning. And uh, this is uh, always such a special occasion. This year we've uh, talked about why it's uh, particularly poignant, but for the women now, now that the gun's gone and the race is underway, they'll be concentrating on that. Yes, there will be, and I think there will be that moment on the start line, particularly as they take in the atmosphere there, where everybody wants to, to make sure that this day is given its, its justice in, in the right way. Uh, and as Ailish spoke about, I think the decision to go ahead was the right one. I, I think um, so many of the values that the Queen stood for and embodied, that togetherness, the empathy and the human spirit comes out in the Great North Run. And this event grew under her reign into the amazing event that it is today. But you're right, once the gun goes, uh, I think it, it is all about racing and it is about making sure that um, these women race to the top of their ability. And we know there's been some question marks coming in. I think Perez, Jeff Chircher. And I think it is a measure of just how much road running has improved in, in the last few years, because where we sat here, what, four years ago, and we were talking about it just below 68 minute pace, we would be saying that it was quick. Um, but because it's now so much slower than the existing world record, it is pedestrian for these women, but they are still moving at quicker than 68 minute pace. Um, and uh, as we, we see there, Helen Abiri is trying to throw in surges, and that's the second or third surge that she's thrown in. Each time she just gets a little bit of a gap and then eases off a bit and I just get the impression that she's testing the other women. Meanwhile, Charlotte Perdue is doing all of this work in the chase group. Pretty sure because of the quality in that lead group as they just, uh, you can see, they're just leaning into this uh, incline up towards Hewitt's roundabout. Kind of Johnson, local runner there. And uh, as we go along the line, we'll see the likes of Brett Robinson, Osaka. Mark Scott, the winner last year, the local winner. And wouldn't it be great if you could fulfill that performance this year? It would be tough, wouldn't it? He's got one of the greatest there, Kennedy said Bekele, and then he's got Olympic champions and world champions, particularly in the shape of Kiplimo and Barrega. We'll talk about those two once we get underway. Just a few seconds away from the start of not only the elite men's race, but the 2022 Great North Run. Ailish McColgan with the honours. They are on their way now, as others still are filing in to have their opportunity. Off to the left, uh, last year we had the whole town moor act as the host for the Great North Run, where we had to change the course and finished on the Great North Road, where Mark Scott came back in resplendent style. More of an out-and-back course last year, but we're back to the familiar route in 2022, showing Certainly on the roads, he's just better than so many people, and uh, even Chet to guy finds it hard to hang on to. So Jacob Kiplimo went to the Olympic Games as the youngest ever competitor for Uganda in 2016 when he was just 15. He's a good kicker if he needs to be, but this year at the Great North Run, he won't have to do that. He talks a lot about uh, he lost his father himself when he was very young and had an upbringing which he said taught me about appreciating everything and he says the running has given him an opportunity that many don't get and he's decided he would grasp it with both hands and he's done it incredibly well over the last few years and just continues to get better and improve. He's still a young athlete, he's still an improving athlete. And you think he's only 21, he'll be 22 
in a couple of months' time. One more last look at the watch. There's such a great future ahead for him. He's already the world record holder at the half marathon distance. He's never won the Great North Run before, but he's heading towards that now. And he can enjoy these last few moments with the huge crowds that we'll have at the finish line. And indeed, he's doing that. A wave to the crowd. That's good to see. You know what I think he might be trying to do? He might be trying to time it exactly on the hour. So that's why he's looking behind and he's checking his watch so much. And maybe he'll just slow down now and make sure he crosses exactly on that hour. I think he's just soaking in the moment. You can see he's looking around, huge smile on his face. He's a real engaging character and he's certainly enjoyed his first ever Great North Run. It's ended up in victory for Jacob Kiplimo of Uganda. Just under the hour, wonderful performance from him. He is the best in the world at this at the moment and he's shown it here to great effect against some of the world's best behind him. But when he put his foot down, there was no question that he'd continue to go away. And he can enjoy the victory moments that uh, go with his run now. He looks behind, Selman Baraker is still not coming. Here he is, first ever half marathon. He'll run quicker than this, Paula. He'll get, in, in his future years, he'll time it better in terms of his preparation, I'm sure. Yeah, and I don't think really at the foremost of his mind would he have expected to be able to beat Jacob Kiblimo here today, as you said, the world record holder in the half marathon distance and really taking so many strides forward this season. Berega maybe has that in the future, but not today. And it, it's been a great debut performance from him as well. And, and just a glance behind in, in that previous shot. And we could see Kennedy Sibikina in the background, but also Suguru Asako. Perega takes second place in his first half marathon. He won't be too bothered about the time. He knows, as Paula said, that he's beaten by uh, the greatest around at the moment, but perhaps one of the all-time greats. Kenanisa Bekele has rallied in the closing miles. The competitive spirit is still there in the 40-year-old champion. So he takes third place right on the 61-minute mark. Asako, who chased him hard, looked as though he was going to manage to get ahead of him, couldn't hang on to him, still got that bit of pace at the end. And just looking at the stats that Mark Butler had provided us before the race, the fastest ever 40-plus half marathon was 60-41 by Haile Gebris Lassie in the Great North Run in 2013. So Kenanisa Bekele has just missed out on being able to take that record from the great Haile Gebris Lassie. That looks like Brett Robinson coming in. We were hoping that Mark Scott might have hung on to fifth, but Mark certainly committed himself, didn't he? He really had a go early on. In fact, he led in the first couple of miles and then has found that it's been a, a hard season for all. Robinson himself preparing for London. And, uh, what is it, three weeks today? And that's a solid run from him. It's going to be right on the 62-minute mark as he sees the great three great champions just ahead of him. And you can see Mark Scott just in the background. There is Mark, and I think, as he's talked about, it's been a difficult, difficult year for him. It started so well indoors, and then he just struggled to, to get it right, and listening to him talk in, in that clip that we saw. Some of those days have been hard work, but he's come out today, and he's tried to, to summon someone near the run that we saw from him.